Hello everyone, I am Tanvi Kaur and I welcome you to this series called RBI 247. In this very series, we pick up some important financial topics and we try to discuss them with the help of different questions. So before moving on to question number one, for all those who are watching this session for the very first time, you can subscribe to our channel and press this bell icon for all latest updates and notifications. You can also join our telegram group. In this very group, we share some free quizzes as well as the updates for all our latest videos. So moving on to question number one, the crypto exchange Wazirx came up with a with NFT marketplace in India. The platform will be used to trade in NFTs. So we have to identify the correct statements related to it. Now first, let's first discuss about these NFTs, which are basically the non-fungible tokens. So first, let's understand about fungibility. If I have a 10 rupee note and you also have a 10 rupee note, both of those notes are same in value. They can be exchanged for one another. There is nothing different. Similar way, if I talk about cryptocurrencies, if I have a Bitcoin and so does you, then we can easily exchange them. There is nothing different. They are, they can be traded or exchanged for each other because they are equal in value. But this fungibility is not there if I talk with respect to the NFTs. NFTs, as the name starts, suggests, they are non-fungible tokens. So there are any of those assets which are unique, which are irreplaceable, not same in value that they can be exchanged for one another. It will be more clear when I talk about what is actually an NFT. If I talk about the non-fungible tokens, they are your unique digital assets. Just like we can buy a stock in a stock exchange or using the cryptocurrency exchange platforms, we can buy and sell the cryptocurrencies. Same way, there is another means where we can buy and sell the digital assets and these digital assets are nothing but our digital artworks. So Wazirx has now provided us this platform otherwise it was internationally provided by other exchanges uh, where your digital work it can be your sketches, drawings, some music work all those things can be traded now. They are the digital assets which are created and each of the asset has its own unique value. Suppose I create a piece of art and I put it on the platform to sell worth rupees some dollars, then that asset is unique to me. The art piece which you will create, it will not have same value as my piece of work. So this is the concept of non-fungible tokens. They are the unique digital assets, a new type of a virtual asset where if you buy that asset, you will get its ownership and it's authentic because its authenticity is verified by a blockchain technology which, uh, which is behind it, supporting it. So this NFT thing uh, ha has shifted the crypto paradigm by making each token unique and irreplaceable. And the NFT space has recently been exploded wherein different musicians, different digital artists explore the route so that they can sell their creation. Whatever artwork they, these creators create, they can sell it on these platforms. So it can be really anything, anything by, by anything, I mean anything digital, like it can be your drawings, it can be music, some sketches, any other piece of art. And a lot of current excitement is around using the technology to sell this digital art. So to cite an example, Wazirx has now come up with the marketplace. It's a cryptocurrency exchange platform, okay, where you deal in the cryptocurrencies and it has now offered the NFT marketplace as well. So this is one piece of art. It's just an image over here, but if you will visit the Wazirx NFT website, you will see that the image is actually a GIF kind of a picture. It's a moving picture with some sound behind okay so uh, the person who created this piece of art he's selling it worth rupees 3150 us dollar so his piece of art has already been sold in this very platform so crypto exchange wazirx has come up with the marketplace for your nfts where you will be able to trade in the nfts now talking a bit more about how this nft marketplace of wazir uh, x is actually going to function so first of all, they need a blockchain technology to support its functioning. So for that, Wazirx depends on another major stock, ex major crypto exchange called Binance. And Binance Smart Chain is the blockchain technology, which obviously is created by the crypto exchange Binance, which is used worldwide. It's one of the largest exchanges operating worldwide. And that technology is behind 
was erex to support this nft marketplace then talking about creator suppose i create any artwork like here this person has created this artwork okay similar way if i create an artwork i will also be called a creator so numerous applications over 15000 applications were received by wazirex in order to list the creations of different people out of which 15 creators are initially going to be listed uh, over here so vimal chandran sneha chakravarti ishita banerji are among some few candidates who were, who have been selected and initially their artwork will be published on this platform to be traded talking about fee a lot not a lot of fees charged over here there is no listing fee but some minimal transaction minimal gas fees is charged worth rupees 1 dollar per transaction you are using their technology blockchain technology lot of algorithm goes behind you need you are providing a platform to trade so for this some minimum amount is charged then talking about royalty suppose i as a creator put my work over here I, and i want to earn royalty on every secondary dealing of my transaction then there comes an option where i can specify what royalty i want so suppose uh, a created a piece of work and he wants to sell he will uh, sell it say at uh, rupees 200 dollars actually the trading is not done in dollars you have to buy the tokens of wazirex okay so suppose 200 wazirex token is the value of a particular piece of art so a puts up that piece of art and he says suppose he will earn 5% royalty then when this work will be sold to b then a will uh, so a b will pay some price to a now if that b person further sells it to someone else you see a is going to earn the royalty which he specified so for every secondary dealing of his work he will earn the royalty he specified then i as i mentioned the trading can be done only through a wazirex token you have to buy that token by paying the amount and that token is worth some dollars so this platform is open for whoever wants to buy and sell the nft and as of now fixed prices have been specified whatever piece of work comes up a fixed price is there you can't bid for that so i'll uh, show you a glimpse from their website these are some digital artworks which have been uh, put up over here so like uh, in the first case you can see 420 wazirex token is the price and it is worth 815 us dollar so it has not yet been sold and the second one is already been sold at 31315 wazirex coin similarly this third piece of work has also been sold at 200 wazirex coins which are worth 380 some us dollars so this is how you can create a digital piece of work and it can be sold on this platform quite an interesting and a new concept let's see how uh, is uh, this digital platform what future is this digital platform going to see now talking about the correct statements all of these three statements are correct uh, the first one talks about the full form Uh, the non fungible token second one talks about it being a unique asset and third talks about it being any digital assets okay so all statements are correct Op option e is the answer moving on to question number 2 which says sebi has found two employees of infosys guilty of violating its insider trading regulations the two employees along with six other entities have been barred from the capital markets they have allegedly made illegal gains of 3.06 crores which of the following perfectly defines insider trading so recently a sebi insider a sebi has basically uh, held two employees and some other entities guilty of insider trading so two employees of infosys have been held guilty so let's understand the concept of insider trading it's a very simple concept but you should be aware about it so as the name suggests insider trading is actually a malpractice okay what happened here the insiders that is the inside people of organization those who because of the virtue of their position have be uh, have the access to some knowledge about the company who are the employees of the company who have access to such information which which has not yet been made public to company ki kuch andar ki information jinke paas hoti hai kyunki wo wahan work kar rahe hain they are the insiders okay and if such people misuse such information for their gain that is known as insider trading so suppose you have the access to some information which has not yet been made public and making that use of that information you trade in the company securities so that you can get some gains that is insider trading so when the information is 
very vital but it has not yet been made public that information is called an unpublished price sensitive information the information has not yet been made public but if it would have been made public then people by investing in those securities would have affected the prices so unpublished or uh, which would have uh, led to major gains for the investors at large so that unpublished price sensitive information when is used by the insiders of the company the company employees or those people who because of their position have the access to such information then if they use it for their gain that is a malpractice it's not justified because they are trying to gain um, uh, putting the interest of other stakeholders or the other shareholders at stake agar baaki ko bhi wo information ka access hota to wo bhi gain kar lete okay that's the problem so it is highly discouraged and uh, for that there are penalties also imposed by sebi so it's very important to promote fair trading and thus we need to prohibit such practices of insider trading talking about this very k question the second statement option b correctly spe- uh, defines what is insider trading the malpractice of company securities undertaken by people who because of virtue of their work have access to unpublished price sensitive information now talking about the case which has been mentioned sebi has recently found two employees of infosys guilty it's not a it's not first time they ha- that some insider trading case has come up every now and then a, a, a new case comes up so we need to be more um we, we need to improve on our governments to make sure that employees don't misuse the information in this very like if i talk about this very case two employees venkata subramanian and the pran and mr pranshu bhutra they tried to misuse this information and the gains which they along with some other entities made was worth rupees 3.06 crores so what happened is that the quarterly financial statements of the company were not yet out till 15th of july these statements were the unpublished price sensitive information so what happened subramanian had the access to such information and he shared it with bhutra with pranshu bhutra and that information through him further got forwarded to his relatives amit bhutra his father ram bilas bhutra and then uh, uh, they were also the partners in some firms called tesora capital and capital one so on the basis of the information which they got those persons and tesora and the capital one company they also made some investments in the company and because of which they were able to make a lot of gains so now rbi said now sebi probed into this very case and it has thus impounded the bank accounts of these okay it has seized the bank accounts of these uh, very entities uh, to uh, and the amount which has been seized is worth rupees 3.08 crores which was the amount of gains which it seems that they have Uh, uh, made because of uh, this insider trading now moving on to next question income tax collection beats corporate tax collection for first time in 12 years which of the following is a factor contributing to lower corporate tax collection vis-a-vis the income tax collection so this was again in newspapers recently and if you have gone through the figures then you can see that this year's income tax collection was far more vis-a-vis your corporate tax collection corporate taxes are the taxes which the companies pay okay and the income tax is the taxes which we as a individual pay so obviously companies are likely to earn more large amount of profits and thus pay more corporate taxes then what has happened that this year we have seen uh, more income tax collection vis-a-vis the corporate tax collection so this is the trend of say past few years and you can see that always the corporate tax have leaded with the with the income tax you can see this gap but what happened recently um, in this in this very year we saw that the income tax collection was more with the year corporate tax collection so income tax collection was 4.69 lakh crores and that of the corporate tax collection was around 4.5 lakh crores obviously because of the pandemic because economy is not doing well we have seen a shrunk in both of these taxes the tax collection of both income tax as well as the corporate tax they have fallen by certain percentages okay but it's not the only reason that has led to for uh, more amount of collection of income tax vis-a-vis corporate taxes so what's the reason behind it 
if i talk with respect to the pandemic okay if i talk about the pandemic situation obviously many businesses have suffered but if you are blaming uh, the, uh, the, uh, the pandemic to be the major cause for listed companies making lesser profits and thus less paying lesser taxes the figures don't show the same okay to a certain extent yes businesses have suffered but if i but if i talk about the profit and losses of the listed companies then the figures show that the profit after tax of listed companies have had a high range okay if i talk about the earnings of published uh, earnings which have been published of the listed companies a 2.6% increase has been there okay so the profits of listed companies have increased and it uh, also as a percentage of total income the profit has increased for them the net margins have jumped up there he this are some these are some facts stating so so the listed companies have made profits okay but is it that just the listed companies are paying corporate taxes no there are unlisted firms also so there are unlisted firms there are some small firms uh, where the figures don't show that they have earned much profits so lesser profits from their end means lesser taxes from their end okay so there is a low tax collection from such entities from the unlisted firms there is also lower tax collection from um, which has occurred because of these large firms gaining at the expense of small firms now how that happens in order to boost their profits what large firms do they try to cut their cost in order to cut their cost they renegotiate their terms with their suppliers with their contractors so when these suppliers and the contractors renegotiate the terms then uh, they basically cut on their profits so their profits get reduced वो इनके लिए कॉस्ट कम कर देंगे जिसकी वजह से उनको इतने प्रॉफिट्स नहीं होंगे सो सप्लायर्स एंड कॉन्ट्रैक्टर्स व्हेन री नेगोशिएट द टर्म्स दे सफर लॉसेस और दे अर्न लेस प्रॉफिट्स एंड लोअर प्रॉफिट्स फॉर देम मीन लोअर टैक्सेस दे विल पे सो सच सप्लायर और कॉन्ट्रैक्टर और देयर फर्म्स बेसिकली विल पे लो कॉर्पोरेट टैक्सेस सो दिस हैज बीन अनदर रीजन फॉर लो टैक्स कलेक्शन फ्रॉम द कॉर्पोरेट्स बट द मेजर रीजन द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट रीजन फॉर द लोअर टैक्स कलेक्शन ऑफ corporate taxes vis-a-vis -vis your income tax is the low, reduced corporate tax rates okay why because uh, compared to previous year we have had lower corporate tax collection because lastly the corporate tax rates were only reduced so if you remember in 2019 a step was initiated by the government where they cut the corporate tax rates okay uh, the tax rate was reduced from 30% to 22% and with respect to manufacturing it was reduced to 15% from the earlier 25% this amount after including the surcharges will be a bit more and this step was taken in order to give a boost to the growth to the investment sector to attract more investments uh, in the manufacturing sector to give the boost to the make in india initiative because of which the corporate tax rates were reduced so if the tax rates are reduced obviously the tax collection will be lesser so this is how you should try to go through the implications of why the things are happening differently okay moving back to our question which fact the question was which of the following is a factor that contributes to the lower tax collection the corporate tax collection the answer is option a the reduced corporate tax rates we have uh, not said anywhere that there has been an increase in the tax rate we have not said that there are increase in the income tax rate it's not that we have higher tax tax collection from unlisted firms due to pandemic we have had lower tax collections same way companies fail to pay the corporate tax due to the pandemic is not the case so first one is the statement which most aptly states the reason behind it so this was all for today's session okay uh, with this i would like to end up this session thank you so much